Band managers. Sit. Sit there. <laughs> Having a band manager is a lot more complicated than it might sound. It's not just someone who sorts all your stuff out. It goes a lot deeper than that. Quite often, a would-be manager would contact a band looking to offer their services to the band. If you're a band that's looking for a manager, don't. Don't go looking for a manager. Wait for a manager to notice you and come and contact you. Because that means that they care about your band and that they see a lot of potential in your band. And that's what you want really. You don't want a manager that you've approached and say, hey, will you manage us? And they're just like, yeah, whatever. You want someone who's gonna be like, yes, I will manage you and I'll make you the biggest fucking band in the world. Here are some checks to kind of determine whether a band manager is right for you or not. Does your band have enough things running simultaneously to warrant having a band manager? Like, are you gigging? Are you releasing music? Do you have a clothing line? Do you have a makeup line? If you don't have loads of things running at once, then you probably don't need one. Unless you're really bad at managing your own affairs, in which case, yeah, you could probably do with one. If you have a job or you go to college or school and you don't really have the time to focus on managing your band, then a band manager might be a good route to go down. If you're looking for your band manager to take you to the next level, then you have to make sure that they already have contacts and experience in the music industry. If it's just one of your friends who says that, oh yeah, I'm gonna get you really big, probably not. If you have a friend that wants to be your manager, chances are they're only gonna be as good as managing the band as you would be, so that's fine. You want someone who's in the industry and knows knows what they're doing. Knows what they're doing. You also need to make sure that the band manager and you as the band both have the exact same goal and plan as to what route you want to go down in the music industry. Set up a meeting before agreeing with the band manager, then you can talk about it. Set up a meeting, get to know them personally, but don't get too friendly with them because you may have to fire them at some point. No kissing. Maybe a bit. Because it's essentially going to be a business relationship, you don't really want to have a friend as your band manager. Because if things go wrong and it's either their fault or your fault, it's got a lot of potential to ruin the friendship that you have. So, keep personal relationships out of this one. Good luck, I hope you find a good band manager. Or they find you, because yeah. that's a better route. Yeah. Good luck, you don't always need one. No, you don't always need one. You're if you don't need one and you can do it on your own, then do it on your own. You're a pretty flower and we love you. Yes. If Joe sounds a bit grumpy today, it's been a very stressful day. And we're very, we're very sorry if it comes across. I've tried to give him drugs like the other video. Someone mentioned that actually. Someone actually mentioned that you said that you were on drugs and like... Remember that a few videos ago. I do, yeah. When you were high. Yeah. Maybe you should try that more often. Yeah, maybe I should. Not today though. Not today. Not today. Bye-bye, everybody.